I'm sorry, what? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. The United States government and the media. I do want to help y'all on law enforcement, too. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. All right, so I just got out. Richard Jewell had to go see my boy Richard Jewell, a movie about an angry white guy. So, you know, I had to represent my people, my culture, go see this film. This is my Black Panther. This is my Wakanda right now. And I fucking love the film. I fucking love the film. Jokes aside, one of the best films I've seen all year. And right before I start the review, it's a 10 out of 10. So, you know, if you're here just looking for a score, there you go. It's a 10 out of 10. It's fucking great. It's Clint Eastwood's best film since Letters of Iwo Jima to me. But then again, I like all of his films. Well, at least most of them. Uh, Trouble with the Curve was probably the one I didn't like that much. But all of them I fucking love for the most part. He's made a lot of films. But anyway, definitely uh, made me feel some emotions. So anytime a film does that, you know it's a fucking great film. And the film is based on a true story. And when you go back and look at the actual footage uh, from this time, it's like shit's identical. Like the media outside of his apartment, it's like the same exact layout. It's insane. Uh, even the guy who plays Richard Jewell in the movie looks identical to Richard Jewell. I forget the actor's name, but he was incredible. Like unrecognizable. He looked, he looked, he talked, and he acted just like Richard Jewell. I mean, it's incredible. I go see this movie, then go watch some 60-minute clips of the actual Richard Jewell, and your mind's going to be blown. I mean, this actor did a crazy good job. I mean, if he's not nominated for an Oscar, like, I don't know what the hell gets you nominated. Like, this is incredible. Easily one of the best performances of the year. And the cast is fucking great. I mean, Sam Rockwell's in there. He's personally one of my favorite actors of all time. He's in there. Kathy Bates is in there. John Hamm's in there. Olivia Wilde's in there. So a bunch of great actors. I mean, the movie's just incredible. And it's two hours and two minutes, and it's not a wasted second. Got Clint Eastwood still has it. Like, this guy is like 99 years old. He's still putting out fucking amazing films. And I really got to think this is like one of his best films of all time, you know. And it seems like every time he puts out a movie recently, it's fucking great. He put out a movie called Mule last year. Uh, That was really good. And this year he has fucking Richard Jewell. And I went to go see this movie because, first of all, I like the trailers. This film definitely had the best trailers this year. But I also went to go see it because I was reading online that a lot of people were fucking hating on this. Well, not people, more like media pundits that want to defend the fucking, like, journalists that totally fucked over Richard Jewell. And, you know, I really couldn't believe that this is all people were focusing on, so I had to go see the movie to see why people were, like, boycotting it. You know, people were saying they were boycotting this movie because of how it represented a reporter lady in the movie that's played by Olivia Wilde. And the movie's about the 1996 Olympic Games bombing in Atlanta that injured 100 people, killed one person, but it would have killed way more if Richard Jewell didn't spot the bomb and get everybody out of the way as fast as he could. But after the bombing, he was praised as a hero, and then uh, this reporter lady got some inside scoop from an FBI agent that she knew, and she ran a story saying the main suspect of the case was Richard Jewell, and the media just descended on this man's life and pretty much destroyed his life. And it turned out in the end, he was completely innocent. He was a hero. They actually caught the real bomber years later. But the whole movie is essentially about how the FBI and the media is trying everything to pin this bombing on Richard Jewell. Everyone's just convinced that this man is the bomber with no evidence. The media is trying to paint a picture of him being a horrible person. And and it's just amazing how much parallel there is to that today. And all people could focus on was how the movie depicted the female journalist who's dead. You know, she can't really defend herself, so nobody really knows what happened. But people are saying that female journalists wouldn't ever fuck somebody to get a scoop. They would never do that. Yeah, that's never happened before. Like, why Why would that even be a possibility, right? I swear to you, people in the media are so non-transparent, you know? Like, they're so blind, they can't see the forest through the trees. And, you know, maybe the movie dramatized that. You know, maybe she really didn't sleep with this FBI agent to get a scoop. But the fact is, she previously was in a relationship with this FBI agent. So maybe that's how she got the scoop. 
Either way, she fucking cut corners to run a story that didn't have any facts in it. And how many times does that happen today? It happens on every fucking story. You go to any fucking media site, it happens everywhere. People just want to get the news out. And they don't really care like what kind of effects it has on anybody. And it's hysterical how people are reacting to this movie because they're giving it, you know, you know, three out of five stars because of how they portrayed this female journalist. And it's amazing how much people are just willing to be politically correct instead of just being honest. Like, it's 1996. She's a female reporter trying to get one of the biggest scoops of all time. Yeah, maybe she did sleep with somebody to get it. It's not far-fetched, especially for the time. It's not even far-fetched for today's standards. You ever heard of Gamergate? That was recent, and that was all about how female journalists were sleeping with game developers to get scoops on games and shit. This shit happens all the time. Why is this such a far-fetched thing? And, you know, I was looking up stuff on uh, this real-life person, and apparently she was a wild person. She did like to party and dress slutty and stuff like that. So, you know, why is this such a far-fetched thing? This, this is insane. And it takes away from the fucking movie. Like, right now, I've been talking about this one fucking character in the movie, who's the villain of the movie, by the way. At least that's how Clint Eastwood is framing her in the movie. What you have to do, it's a fucking movie. You gotta dramatize something. Somebody's gotta be the villain here. You gotta give a compelling reason to watch the film. And it just takes away from the actual film. All this bullshit controversy surrounding, oh, did they, did they get this one character right? When everything else in the film is completely accurate, it's based on a true story. It's not inspired by it. They get a lot of shit right. Like in the movie when they're at Centennial Park and the stage has an AT&T logo on it, I thought that was product placement. I'm like, wow, AT&T just put their logo on this for some reason. But then you see the real life stage and there it is, AT&T's logo. They actually sponsored the venue back then. So everything in this movie was pretty fucking accurate. And when you see real-life pictures of that park, it looks identical. But the performances were so fucking good in this movie. Kathy Bates had me crying a few times. Because she's very motherly in this movie. And it really just gets to, like, your heartstrings and stuff. And Sam Rockwell fucking kills it. Again, this fucking man's a legend. And no one's talking about the, their performances. Or the main actor's performance. I fucking hate that. I can't remember his name. Hold on, I'll look it up right now. Paul Walter Hayser? I don't know how you say his last name. But yeah, he does a fucking amazing job as Richard Jewell. Totally believable. Easily one of the best performances of the year. He should be nominated for every goddamn award. As far as best actor goes at every goddamn venue. Whatever the fuck award show it is. He should definitely get nominated. But it's just amazing. You know, all this controversy around this film. About such an insignificant detail. As if whether or not this reporter lady slept with the FBI agent. Like, that is such an insignificant detail right now. It might be conjecture, but there's no way of knowing either way what the fuck happened. How she got that leak, how she got that source, there's no way of fucking knowing. And this movie is way more based in reality than The Irishman. The Irishman was based off a book. There's no way to know if that movie was true at all. But this is actually based off real events. Like, go watch this film. Go home and then watch 60 Minutes with Richard Jewell and your minds could be fucking blown how fucking dead on they were. But anyway, that's all I gotta say about this movie for now. I loved it a lot. It's easily my favorite film of the year. I mean, Clint Eastwood is a fucking master. And, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be tough for any film to beat this this month. Uh, except for Uncut Gems with uh, Adam Sandler. That looks actually really good. That's probably gonna be one of the best films of the year. I can't wait to see that Uncut Gems. But yeah, if you if you have any doubts about seeing Richard Jewell because you think it might not be accurate, fucking get rid of that shit and go see the movie. It's that good. Clint Eastwood, this whole cast deserves all the praise in the world. This is a brilliant movie. This is a lot like Spotlight. That they remind me a lot of that film, except like in the reverse order. Like the media are the bad guys in this film. Like, but yeah, that's it for now. Comment below if you've seen Richard Jewell. If you haven't seen it, don't comment. And that's it for now. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Like your client is guilty as hell. They want to fry you. You ready to start fighting back?